collectors and action figure fans, it's the one and only Optobotomus coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Megatron. If you'd like to pick him up or any of the other new Studio Series figures, you can do so right now at Big Bad Toy Store. For the packaging, this is the front of the box, this, and this is the side of the box, and this is the back of the box. Go ahead and pause it right now in case there's anything on the back here that you'd like to read. But for the packaging on this guy, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. And here we have him opened up out of his packaging and obviously uh, in his tank mode, I guess. Which, if you saw the end of the Transformer movie, you know that his remains were dumped at the bottom of the Laurentian Abyss. He was resurrected uh, by the little Dr. Decepticon and was pieced back together with those remains, which obviously were more Cybertronian in nature. And then some other robots and stuff. I forgot which one he killed, but he used his parts to do this. So subsequently gave him a different mode, I guess. That being a tank as opposed to that Cybertronian jet that he was in the first one. Uh, he still maintains his ability to kind of fly as we saw him uh, fly off to the moon or just beyond the moon, I guess it was in Rendezvous with Starscream and the Fallen. And you can see that he does have like the thrusters and stuff. So, so I guess he can still kind of fly, but you know, whatever. But this is his tank mode. And this actually looks really cool. Uh, very accurate, uh, except for honestly, these cannon things here. Uh, I don't remember him having these to be totally honest he had this which you know is okay but i don't remember him having these and i actually do have the prime one studio statue that's based on this and in robot mode he doesn't have these guns on his back uh, and i've looked at cgi images he also doesn't have those in the cgi so i don't know where they get that from it's still cool looking but that comes into play later on and i'll touch on that when uh, we finally get to it. Overall though, it looks really nice. The biggest downfall I would say would be the color. Now, as you can see, you got some really nice gunmetal gray in there. You have some gold highlights uh, thrown throughout some kind of lighter gray bits and then some darker gray bits. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't really have a metallic sort of look to it. And that's definitely unfortunate. Uh, he had that in the film. And since these are supposed to be the best representations uh, of the characters in terms of toy form, I really wish uh, that this guy was done up in a little bit better of a paint job. Again, I've talked about it before that we know that Takara is basically just going to be reissuing this, you know, as part of their regular release. So we're not going to get a special paint job version of it. I mean, I, I guess it's entirely possible we might get one that has some more green aspects like slime and seaweed and stuff. Uh, now, I don't have any other versions of Megatron really with me right now. Uh, I do have the uh, the oversized last night one, but that doesn't really work for this. But we all know how he looks, so I'm going to set him there, and then let's bring in his uh, current Voyager class wave mate. Uh, here we have him with Brawl, and you can see that he is, in terms of vehicle mode, bigger than Brawl is, which is quite impressive. I mean, he is a fairly big toy for being a Voyager, uh, and a lot of people complain uh, about the size of these figures nowadays, uh, but I think that he scales pretty decently. Let's bring in some other vehicle mode figures here he is with the uh, crowbar I, I, I forgot his name but bringing that over there you can see how he scales obviously a suburban is a, a little bit smaller than a tank thing so you have that um this is not from the same movie but it's from the same line here we have him with stinger who i never transform in display or uh, compare him in, in robot mode. i just kind of leave him there as my vehicle mode comparison but you can see that right there uh what other don't really have any other vehicle modes around here but you get the general idea especially when you take a look at uh this guy here so overall scale wise uh works pretty good uh yes he does have his head showing right there um uh, i guess i can't complain too much because that is Fairly movie accurate, although it did hide a little bit better. There was more stuff that came up and kind of 
cover the, the face, so that's a little bit off. Uh, he does have some wheels on the underside here. You really have to make sure everything is kind of compressed and pushed in properly to get him to roll. And for the most part, he just kind of scrapes. Um, well, I mean, on my table, it's plastic, so it's just going to kind of scrape. But, uh, oh, I can kind of feel the wheels moving a little bit. But he, you know, he, he does a good job of looking how he's supposed to. Uh, it, it is probably the best representation of them that we've ever gotten. Like I said, I just wish we got a little bit better of a paint job. Now, first transformation, it's actually fairly simple. So first, what you'll want to do here is come around to the side, detach these from little posts here. You can see the little post right here. And then on the inside of the tank tread here is what it will tab into. Well, obviously, I'll go back to uh, vehicle mode here uh, later on. So you'll be able to see that. Take these little pieces. You can rotate these all the way around. They're on double hinges. One thing that I will say is that a lot of these panels are just attached via little friction things. I wish they would start using like actual metal pins that, that would prevent a lot of stuff that you're going to see that's a problem later on especially these little pieces so we're going to rotate that around and then spin these around just like so just kind of leave it off to the side like that let me angle up a little bit here so i'm just going to leave them dangling down like this for right now we'll play with that all here in a bit come around here to the back section you got several different tabbing points you got a tabbing point here at the back so just kind of loosen that pull all of this wiggle all that just like that pop that loose and that's going to hinge and shift up but before you do that rotate these arms out you can then lift here at the shoulder kind of just stretch that out and then just fold these all the way around just getting that out of the way now this is what i was kind of talking about well we can take the head you got another hinge right here lower that and then we're going to bring that down we'll just kind of leave that right there so kind of straighten that out bring this down and then this down and then this has another hinge here that will separate and get that and then these are going to line up here get that kind of out of the way and then you have a little tabs on the side here that this little piece will swing in and lock that into place right there do that on this side as well lock that into place and then you just take these push those up and then you can rotate these arms i'm just going to rotate them and then kind of lift them up just to kind of get them out of the way we're coming down here to these leg areas take this whole section accordion this up that locks into place do that there as well that will lock into place kind of spread this this gets a little bit tricky here you want to rotate this piece out and kind of hinge that then take this entire bit here let see this just comes off <laughs> it's, it's so annoying this piece right there okay so straighten this bring that down and then this entire bit right here you can kind of see how it's on this angle you want to collapse this and then that will when you do that it will slide to match up with this little groove section right there i'll show that on the other side but you just bring that and then hinge that like that and bring that down like so this little section here you want to rotate that down this piece right here when you bring it around let's see there is a little groove area here we're gonna sp then split these oh actually i had that reverse so split that and then rotate this entire thigh around like so so then you have that split and these little bits right here are going to kind of kind of it kind of just sits here it doesn't really do much um kind of oh just yeah you just kind of angle that there uh for the leg and that's basically done so again let me rotate this around you got this little piece right here you have to slide this and then you can bend that bring that back a little bit angle that back like so this little piece right here rotates and swivels forward bend this section and we it's definitely a little bit finagly so bring that down there we go and then you hinge this whole piece 
right up there. And then split the foot. That's a little bit tricky. Let's see. Let me use Optimus Prime's sword. Just kind of wedge in there. There we go. Pull that apart like that. Fold that piece down. Then you just kind of finagle everything. Rotate this. Rotate this. Bring that down. Bring that down. And then you kind of just position everything with the uh, final body. Come around here. Take this little piece. Fold that little section out. And when you're done, there you have Megatron in his robot mode. And you know, I've always maintained that the best looking representation of the Revenge of the Fallen Megatron was that Prime 1 Studio statue. I'm seriously reconsidering that with this guy. He is absolutely terrific looking. Everything on him, with the exception of the paint, is wonderful looking. Take a look at the head sculpt here. You can see gorgeous detail. You got some nice red eyes. The teeth actually have a gold color. Let me come in so you can really see that. I mean, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous head sculpt on there. Again, I just wish the color was a little bit better. Just a little more silver could really make a lot of them just stand out. You see a lot of real nice gold detailing throughout his chest area. You got that kind of going through like his abdomen down in the uh, thigh area, his crotch piece and everything. Uh, you do have some really nice silver paint right here, but this is what I'm kind of talking about. If everything was painted like that, it would look spectacular. I mean, the inside here has a little bit of silver, some of that gunmetal gray. Uh, you do see that uh, he does have a couple different shades of this uh, gray plastic going on, a little bit darker and lighter colors throughout, uh, like the uh, elbow joints are a little bit lighter than the arms, but it all blends in really very nicely. You come down here and look at the legs, and those also, <sighs> literally, I barely touch that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Put that back on there. Uh, that is one of the aspects that I don't like. I mean, it's not a perfect toy. There are aspects that I don't like. Uh, the, the feet look terrific. Um, I think that these little pieces here kind of get in the way of uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, like when you're trying to get the feet on the ground and everything. I mean, it really does kind of cause some problems if I'm hitting the camera here uh, with uh, some stability issues uh, you you really do have to kind of force it up there I mean I'm trying to see here we got like that one that one goes up there why is this one not going up as high um, I don't know necessarily Oh, well, okay, I guess I didn't have it pushed all the way down. Uh, but you do get some kind of clearance issues. Maybe I, I want to say that it, a lot of it is these little bits right here that kind of, you see, kind of push things up. Um, I guess you can kind of fiddle with these a little. I mean, there's not really much you can do for the positioning. I mean, they're going to be there, but just fiddle with them and you'll basically get them where they need to be but this guy really does look spectacular now there are some issues uh, obviously the point the thing's popping off but a lot of people talk about this uh, a big giant hole that goes through him that is ugly uh, there's no doubt about that that really could have been filled in a lot better yeah okay we we look at our figures from the front and hey even if you look at it from the back he looks well he's gonna fall he looks pretty good from the back the side doesn't look good but now i was telling you about these cannons uh he doesn't have these like i i don't know i mean at least i don't remember him having them and again i looked at my prime one studio statue which is an absolute representation of how he looked in terms of you know robot mode he doesn't have these so what you can do i'm gonna show you detach this now this was not my idea i saw this from someone else so whoever originated this uh kudos i i i don't know who did uh but if you take this and kind of just stretch it a little bit and pop it down just like that do that on both sides here then bring all of this down kind of position that there 
hinge all of this, get all of that down, and then bring these arms back and tab those back in. That helps a little, uh, not a heck of a lot, but it helps a little, at least it puts something there. Uh, that looks a little bit better, I think. Uh, that's how I'm going to display my figure. Uh, just, I think, it just looks better like that, to be totally honest. And I, I think they could have uh, figured out something to fill them out a little bit more, but unfortunately they didn't now for some size comparisons here is uh, megatron as he appears in revenge of the fallen again he is a voyager size figure here are some of his uh, decepticon colleagues obviously we have blackout we have starscream starscream is about the same height now you can uh, chicken leg him a little bit more uh, make him a little bit shorter um i mean not not a ton honestly i mean that's about how he's supposed to be in terms of a uh, standing you can do that i mean you can stretch him out i god i'm just gonna leave that off uh, now you can stretch him out really massively uh that looks ridiculous i've seen people recommend doing that that looks really quite dumb don't do that uh, they're supposed to be bent like this this piece yeah boys and girls uh, so uh, i mean you can straighten it out a little but it is meant to be kind of bent like that so have it bent that's you know the way that it's supposed to be uh, but for me for for me uh, th this size here uh, doesn't bother me really all that much uh, bringing in uh, blackout here you can see blackout being a leader class figure uh, is pretty big megatron's a big character so you you can kind of see uh, just how he's uh, meant to scale and then uh, bringing in optimus prime now this is uh, how optimus appeared in revenge of the fallen so uh basically the same style uh but you can see optimus is smaller and that is accurate megatron was bigger than optimus prime in the movies uh even smaller than starscream and obviously lockdown so all of these new scales while yeah they're a little bit smaller they're more accurate in terms of the representation at least here in robot mode and i think it looks really very good i'm very happy with what they did and yeah okay you you really can't recreate it that much but here let me see you can spread these you can let's see oh here here's here's a weapon so you can grab him I, not, you can't really do that but here's jazz uh and jazz was pretty small uh actually probably even a little bit smaller than him but you can see that the scaling again i think is pretty darn good for his articulation uh you can see that the head here is on this swivel it's kind of part of the transformation it moves forward and back uh it also does have a ball joint here so you can kind of position that really however you want look left right he can look up and down kind of as part of the transformation uh, the shoulders here do rotate and they also have a hinge in and out right there rotates at the upper part of the bicep itself bends at the elbow uh, the little finger thingies here you've got uh, a total of two different sections you've got this section right here with like three of the fingers and then another one they are made out of a rubbery material but you can kind of open it up and things like that uh, now as i showed you you do have his weapon which is just this claw or this uh, sword thing you can tuck that up like so uh, same articulation on this side you got the swivels the hinges all that kind of stuff uh, you can also move this out which is a little finger uh, thing I kind of I mean obviously in the movie he didn't have this all the time it was kind of like this sometimes but I don't mind having this uh, it was kind of his fusion cannon this is what he used in the forest battle against Optimus Prime he took the sword stabbed him through the heart blasted him with the cannon killing Optimus dun 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 spoiler alert I know uh, no rotation at the waist the hips are on these swivels they move in and out forward and back rotates at the upper part of the thigh both of these pieces have now come off i'm just gonna leave them there so you got that swivel uh, and then you do have uh, all these different joints here in the knee area so you got a joint here you have a joint here uh, and then that yeah that stays there and then the ankles 
actually do have uh, tilt so you can angle that like so um, the, the problems that he has uh, like I said the gaping hole right there is what it is that doesn't bother me terribly but the biggest thing is our uh, a lot of these panels even the head when you're moving it that comes off you just got a little friction nub right there that locks that down um, you have that with these little pieces uh, these are usually not as bad uh, transforming them can get a little bit tricky these are actually supposed to be kind of tabbed in here uh, these back ones though are just absolutely uh, atrocious I mean you, you you barely touch them and they are falling out and that's really obnoxious uh, I, I, I like I said I wish that those were pinned in there I might be able to tighten them by putting some floor polish there but um, I, I just I mean I don't like it I, I think that that could really have been improved upon and uh, they fell short on it but uh, overall really solid looking toy few minor gripes with them uh, paint could be a little bit better uh, but all in all, really solid looking representation of uh, Megatron from Revenge of the Fallen. Yeah, the Transformer back, uh, he's, he's easy, but it, it does get a little bit confusing, kind of like with the, the shoulders and everything, and knowing how you're supposed to orientate everything. Uh, so first, coming down, taking a look at the feet, uh, these panels are probably going to pop off. We're going to... Bring this down, and then on that little sliding joint, slide that out just like so until it locks into place. Uh, take these, straighten this. This can lift up. Um, just kind of leave it there. Collapse the feet, and then this section here will rotate uh, back and go across the top section there. So again, do that on this side. Straighten that out. This uh, little bit down here, you slide that. And let's see. There we go. Make sure I. There we go. Slide it just like so. Bring the two feet bits together. Rotate this back. Straighten this out like so. And then this section here, kind of bring this up and sits along the back section like that. Take uh, the thigh pieces here. You can detach these. Rotate this around rotate this around and then detach up here in the waist area bring that down and that just kind of gets everything out of the way oh i already kind of felt things getting a little bit loose so then bring these down and then this section here kind of just uh this is going to go like that so you want to hinge this back like that it's going to kind of already be in the position that it needs to be so just kind of bring that down and that's gonna you'll play with that later on here these you can leave i mean we'll fiddle with those here in a bit come on here to the back section detach the shoulder bits pull out the backpack uh, if you had these just rotate those around again you kind of have to pull away from uh, this section and then kind of just put that right there bring that right there now like i said uh, the the orientation of the shoulders can get a little bit tricky uh, or the arms uh, just kind of rotate this around and what you're going to end up looking for is uh, some slot sections underneath here so kind of bring that in like that bring that in like that and uh, i want to say yeah that goes on the side like so so uh, this you're gonna have the elbow joint like that with the uh, side of his arm kind of pointing up this one here uh, the elbow joint is gonna be on the opposite side with his hand kind of going up and down like that then all of these pieces here have uh, several different like connecting points it's really tough to see but you got a little peg up here that's going to come back you have to hinge this all the way back and kind of get that out of the way get that there uh, this whole section hinges back and like I said really tough to see where everything kind of lines up um, but there are several like I said several different tabs in fact did I yeah this this is 
in the right spot. So do I have this pulled back all the way? Oh no, I, d I didn't. Okay, so for example, you have this little piece. Do I actually, maybe I have this the wrong way. Oh no, yeah, it goes like this with the, uh, the little finger point uh, pointing upwards. So you got a little slot here on the inside of this cannon that a little tab on the inside here is gonna lock into. That's probably the easiest one to pull back because you can kind of see it from the back and then just push that kind of locking that in and then you have to try and get these ones and it's definitely not easy uh, to do um, kind of just maneuver things there we go I got that there and then this side I think I already got this one down yeah, there we go. Uh, most of them, most of the time, it lines up uh, fairly easily. That actually popped out, so there we go. Uh, so usually, it's pretty decent uh, if you get everything lined up properly. Everything else should sort of line up. So just be careful when you're doing it. Uh, angle the uh, little hip sections like this. You can keep that pointed up. Get that kind of out of the way. And then these are going to, well, let's see, yeah, that, yeah, okay. So these are going to swivel around like that, swivel around like that, and then again, this is kind of how you want this section to sort of be. Uh, this part can get a little bit tricky. Uh, make sure you have the cannon all the way up. Uh, I think I detached this. There we go. Yeah, that's Again, that's tricky to get everything lined up. I'll, I mean, you, you don't even really notice it all that much. Kind of bring the head uh, like that. See, that pops out. And that, but you got two different joints right here. You want to pull that all the way back and get that in there. So once you have that kind of folded all the way back, his head will be upwards like so. Uh, leave these down because you're going to bring that up around now this can again be a little bit tricky on the inside here is the slot that this little tab is going to lock into just kind of rotate it around push that in like that and then the process kind of rotate his legs so that they're kind of positioned properly so that the tires are sort of straight so again do that on this side rotate that push that in rotate the thigh and then, oh shoot, the head here didn't want to go where it needed to. So again, pull that there, okay. And then that kind of just fits right there, kind of covering up his head. And But when you're done, I guess you can angle these up. Uh, there you have Megatron back in his tank mode. Actually, one final thing that I forgot to do. You need to take these and then on both of these hinges, kind of rotate this back and tuck it underneath the bottom section right there, just like that. And then you have Megatron done. Uh, in general, like I said, I'm really happy with how he turned out. I, I think that he is an absolute wonderful representation of the tank the Revenge of the Fallen movie. Uh, it is a little bit tricky to get everything lined up, especially with these tabs. I still don't have them lined up properly, uh, but it's not something that I'm going to stress out about. I mean, it, it, it does what it needs to do. It looks the way that it needs to look. Uh, I'm happy with it. The only thing, like I said, in terms of accuracy is I don't remember him having these guns here he might have uh but honestly i don't remember it uh and then the paint i, I really wish he had a little bit better uh, of a paint job uh given to him just to really make him stand out transformation is pretty simple uh for a voyager figure uh, I, I think he's one of the simplest ones that we've gotten in a while, but he's still pretty good in like these little bits right here. That's going to fall out and it's not good. Uh, the uh, overall joy of the figure, though, comes in his robot mode. I think he looks fantastic. Yes, he does have that gap along the side. He can kind of fill it with these cannons. Um, I, I think they could have done a little bit better of a job with it, but it doesn't bug me that much.
As I said, uh, I really do feel like this one has replaced that Prime One Studios in terms of the overall look. The reason, I mean, obviously the Prime One Studios is far more accurate. It, it's a statue of just the robot mode. And that's what I think makes this one uh, so special. Uh, he transforms. And that, to me, is amazing. Because they take a tank mode that really does look accurate and tr make him transform to a robot mode that also, I think, looks really accurate. This guy is terrific. I, I, I absolutely love him. He's not perfect, but he is a spectacular figure, in my opinion. So, if this version of Megatron is a figure that you'd like to add to your collection, he is hitting various retailers right now. So, if you're looking for him, good luck and happy hunting. Or, as always, there's Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do for that is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS where you can check out availability on this guy as well as the rest of the wide range of new Transformers Studio Series figures. But beyond that guys, that's about it. Once again, if you like this video, I would really appreciate your support and letting me know by hitting that thumbs up button. It actually does go a long way towards helping me out and I would really appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, welcome. And before you go, make sure you subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you're already subscribed, now more than ever it's important to make sure that you're getting those email notifications. We all know just how unreliable that YouTube subscription box is and the best way to help support my channel and not miss any future reviews of mine is to click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. In a very Special thanks to you if you made it all the way to the end of this review. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. And finally, remember, the real trouble with the world is too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.